afternoon, Southwest Florida. I'm Carly Bradley. This Naples Herald lunch break is sponsored by Conditioned Air, the comfort people since 1962. This afternoon, we'll tell you about an interview with a football legend, the new Benita Springs High School, and more. Today is Friday, February 17th, and this is the lunch break. The Lee County School District is in the process of choosing the colors and mascot for the new Benita Springs High School, and they're asking for community input. Anyone can go to the Benita Springs High School website to cast their vote for one of three color options and three mascot options, or there's an area to write in your own mascot idea. The district hopes to have the new school open for up to 2,000 students in 2018. To cast your vote and to hear the full story, visit leeheralds.com. This week, the Naples Herald sat down with football legend Matt Burke to talk about his impact on the game and his influence with the YMCA. Burke was born and raised in St. Paul, Minnesota, but now lives here in Naples with his family, working to better the community through sports and health. The All-Pro Center played for 15 years in the NFL, was selected to the Pro Bowl six times, and won the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award in 2011. To read the full interview, visit NaplesHerald.com. Senate Republicans are poised to use their majority to confirm President Donald Trump's nominee to lead the Environmental Protection Agency, despite calls from Democrats for a delay. As part of a public records lawsuit, a state judge ordered Pruitt to release thousands of emails that he exchanged with oil and gas executives by next week. Pruitt has refused to release the emails for more than two years. Republican leaders, however, have shown no signs they intend to wait for the documents to be released before voting to confirm him. Pruitt's nomination was strongly opposed by environmental groups and hundreds of former EPA employees. And that was the lunch break for today. I'm Carly Bradley. The Lunch Break airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our morning report that also airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on Monday.